George Floyd is getting a hagiography. There's a new book coming out. It's a biography of George Floyd. Talk about people who don't need biographies. Uh, He's getting a a biography published May 17th, 2022. This is going to be coming out from uh, one of the imprints of Penguin Random House, a very prestigious publishing house. Here's the press release, quote, the biography of George Floyd shows the athletic young boy raised in the projects of Houston's third ward who would become a father, a partner, a friend, and a man constantly in search of a better life. Oh, oh yeah, is that, is that so? In, in retracing Floyd's story, Samuels and Olo Ranipa, these are two Washington Post reporters, bring to light the determination Floyd carried as he faced the relentless struggle to survive as a black man in America. Now, I'm going to translate that from the delusional fantasy of Penguin Random House into reality. Uh, George Floyd was a career criminal who robbed a pregnant woman at gunpoint and never turned his life around ever. And in his final moments was only killed because he was resisting arrest and committing a crime at his very last moments and was super duper high on drugs, had taken a lethal dose of drugs, never, ever once improved his life and was for his entire career, a menace to society and did not have a constant struggle to survive as a black man in America, made very, very bad choices. I think that book, I think that book would be a lot more honest if you wrote that about, but I I don't think that one would get published. I think instead you have this fantasy, this near, what this is about Obviously, this has nothing to do with George Floyd, the book that they're publishing. It has to do with the narrative. White people bad, black people good. Really easy for white people to live, very hard for black people to live. George Floyd, saint, martyr, a a hero, a demigod. Um, Even if that story is false, it gets to a greater truth. Here's the narrative. Kyle, Kyle Rittenhouse, evil white supremacist terrorist, all the pedophile, rapist, career criminal rioters who were chasing him are good, wonderful, saintly, anti-racist protesters. And even if this, the reality isn't, isn't that, even, even if that narrative is a lie, it gets to a greater truth. What it gets to is a fantasy, but it's a fantasy with a lot of institutional backing. I'm so glad you liked that clip. I'm really glad. It makes me feel very good. Now, if you want to get more clips like that, you've got to ring the bell, subscribe, You'll get full episodes of the show. And if you want the fully uncensored show, and maybe you get more notifications than our big tech friends want to allow, head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play. Type in The Michael Knowles Show, T-H-E space M-I-C-H-A-E-L space K-N-O-W-L-E-S space S-H-O-W period. Subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show. Leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time. (laughs) 